Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover substitution concept. It is a very important and most commonly used functionality in SAP. What is substitution? It is a functionality provided by SAP by which we can validate a condition about the contents of any field and if that condition is satisfied we can specify the SAP system to update or replace the contents of any field. Like validation, substitution also can be defined at three levels. Document header level, line item level, complete document level. In validation, we were having three components prerequisite, check and message. But in substitution, we have only two components, prerequisite and substitution. Prerequisite, it is a condition to be checked. Substitution is about field and field content to be updated. The transaction code which is used to define validation substitution is OBPH and the path is SPRO, IMG, Financial Accounting, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Document, Document Header, Substitution in Accounting Document. Let's take an example test scenario. Requirement is that substitute line item text field in screen FB50 with XYZ123 when company code is 2RCB and user is 95 ABAP12. How we are going to update this in SAP system? So we will be updating company code and user ID in prerequisite section and we will be entering the text to be updated in substitution section. Let's go to SAP system. Before creating substitution, let's post one document using FB50 to check how the line item text field is updating before and after setting the substitution. Let's go to FB50. You document it. We need text. We need the account debit amount. You text in the account credit. So this is the text field which we wanted to substitute. We want to substitute. For now, I have, I have given ASDF for sample purpose. So let's hit on enter. Click on save. So document 90 was posted in company code to RCP. Let's go to table B section. This table B will save the line item data. What is the document number? Document number is 92 RCP 90 fiscal year click execute. So one line for debit and one line for credit 40 and 50. We can see the text item updated here. So ASDF ASDF for debit and credit successfully updated in table B set. So what we can observe here is that the name of the field, text field is SGTXT and this field is available in table B sec. So here we, we don't see the user ID or username field in this table. We can find that field in BKPF table that is header data table. This is B sec is a line item data table. 
go to AC 16 BKPF to B 19 So here we can see the company code and username. So these two fields we will be using in substitution prerequisite section and this field bsec table sgtxt field here is the field sgtxt field we will be updating in substitution section go to transaction code obbh click on new entries give our company code call of point is 2 give any name to our substitution hit enter double click create again yes give description to our substitution click on save select this folder click on insert step Click on OK. Give name to our step. Click on Save. Here we can see two components prerequisite and substitution. In prerequisite, we will be updating our company code and the user ID. And in substitution section, we will be updating the text field along with the text which we wanted to we wanted to update in SGTXT field in BSEC table. Go to prerequisite section, double click on BKPF structure, click on find. U B U K R S nothing but company code select this equal to constant to RCB. This is our company code. Click on and click on find US and AM. This is user ID technical name. Select this equal to constant 95 above 12. So the condition is that company code should be 2RCB and the username should be 95 above. If this condition is satisfied, then go to substitution. Click on insert, click on find, view. Our technical name of our field is GTXT. Select this, double click, select the constant value, click on OK. Select this checkbox, give text which we wanted to get updated in SGTXT basic table. Click on Save. Save and generation successfully completed. Go back to OBBH main screen. We have successfully defined our substitution. Here we need to activate. How we are going to activate? In the right side we can see a column activation level. 0 refers to inactive, 1 is for active. Select 1 and click on save. Click on OK. With this, we have successfully defined substitution and successfully activated it. Let's go to transaction code FB50 and test our substitution. FB50. 
गिव डॉक्यूमेंट डेट गिव हेडर टेक्स्ट जीएल अकाउंट फॉर डेबिट एनी अमाउंट डेबिट टेक्स्ट जीएल अकाउंट फॉर क्रेडिट वैल्यू डेट जीएल टेक्स्ट फॉर क्रेडिट हियर वी हैव गिवन टेक्स्ट व्हिच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट व्हिच वी अपडेटेड इन आवर सब्स्टिट्यूशन इफ वी हिट एंटर द वैल्यू व्हिच वी एंटर्ड हियर शुड बी ओवर रिटन बाय द टेक्स्ट व्हिच वी एंटर्ड इन आवर सब्स्टिट्यूशन लेट्स सी इफ इट वर्क्स और नॉट क्लिक ऑन एंटर सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट द वैल्यूज आर सक्सेसफुली ओवर रिटन फ्रॉम आवर सब्स्टिट्यूशन क्लिक ऑन सेव डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर 92 जनरेटेड सक्सेसफुली लेट्स गो टू बी सेक टेबल चेक इफ द वैल्यूज आर अपडेटेड करेक्टली क्लिक ऑन एग्जीक्यूट सो डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर 92 डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट गो टू टेक्स्ट फील्ड हियर वी कैन सी दैट text field sgtxt is successfully updating the text value from our substitution b seg sgtxt field so with this we have successfully defined our substitution activated and tested successfully